And as you saw just moments ago, we talked to Jane Wicker twice just yesterday. And tonight, we're learning more about just who she was. Natalie Tyndall continues our team coverage with how Wicker got started in aerial acrobatics. Jane Wicker started her wing walking career after answering a newspaper ad 23 years ago. According to her bio, she's from Virginia and is and was one of the only female wing walkers in the country to use no safety line or parachute during her performances. Our own Dan Edwards had the chance to speak with Wicker just yesterday about her performance. How long has it taken you to get to this point where you feel comfortable dangling from a, the wing of a plane and then going upside down with it when you're right side up? Well, I actually did that hang down my second time in the air wing walking. So I spent a month on the ground training and I went up. My first wing walk was, a, was my first air show. And so I went up there and I did it. And the second time I went up, I did that hang down. And, um, I, you know, it's one of those things I thought was going to be really hard. But for me, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Wicker used a 450 HP Stearman plane named Aurora for her axe. Now, you just heard her talk about one of her signature moves, hanging underneath the wing by her feet while the plane rolled. She also would sit on the bottom of the airplane while it was upside down. And in an interview with the Living Dayton crew yesterday, she explained how she felt every time she would get ready to take those risks. You know, I think it's more of an adrenaline than a nerve for me at, at this point. I, have, I get concerned when certain things are thrown at me that I'm not you know, ready for, like what the weather is not, what I'm ready for, if it's yeah. bumpy, if it's if there's a chance it might rain. Yeah. Those things concern me, but I'm never nervous or scared because I know if I do everything as I usually do, everything's going to be just fine. Now, during Dan Edwards' interview with the team, he also talked to the pilot who died today in the crash. He told Dan it was always tricky to fly the plane when Jane was on the wings, but they had several safety precautions in place that helped counterbalance it. Dan tells us when he heard the news there had been a crash today, he had a sinking feeling it was Jane's plane. You, you get a, a, a liking with these people and what they do, and they, they put their life out on the line every time they go up in the air for an act. And, and uh, you, know, you just get that feeling that uh, your heart just breaks for not only you know, the, the family, and, and, and here is the maintenance crew chief who is her fiance. You have to wonder what he's going through, and, and uh, it, it, just, it just breaks your heart to see that type of tragedy at the air show. Now, Jane was planning to get married on the wings of her plane during an air show event in the next year. According to her Facebook page, she has two sons. Natalie Tendall, 2 News, working for you.